Our future presidents are being fed second-hand education. Broken children possessing the intellect of tomorrow's revolutionaries. Powerful thoughts are terminated at their infant stages. Growth is unattainable when top management fails. Nine out of ten of those people who know about HIV know that there is a cure, else they know that and they don't even care about that. Some may say that the cure is already there, from which sense? Morality. Just follow your mother's teachings, teachings, yes, your father's teachings, the teachings world. of your spiritual leaders, etc. But we live in a different world. There's a problem. A world where people have closed their ears. Mm -hmm. We live in a different Listen world. Listen to the parts of their body. They respond to that, to that melody instead of the truths, the founding truths of life. I'm an, I'm an illiterate girl. I'm mm. living in a village. Mm. How am I going to look up to you if you've got four different wives? Yeah. You begin to be my example. You begin to be my follow icon. Follow your and example. Follow. Yes. Exactly. Mm. So if you think about what the people in the rural areas look at, you and I can say a different story because we've been educated. Yeah. But they can't say a different story because to them, the whole way of life has been shaped around leaders. So obviously they're going to follow in those leaders' footsteps and go through every, you know? Yeah, and get frustrated if, if they cannot follow it, but they see that that guy is going exactly. about things the wrong way, they get frustrated. When exactly. the frustration comes, the errors. And then they end up getting AIDS, and then who do they blame? Hmm. They blame the very leaders. The very leaders. Or blame themselves, but no, it doesn't help. Yeah. But in the rural areas, the man doesn't blame himself. Hmm. He blames the woman. What about the that city is so people? Strange. What about the city people? Because we, we we live in Hillbrook. We we based in Hillbrook. We see what's going on in the streets. Hillbrook people it's are very promiscuous. Area. Yeah. Extremely promiscuous. And I'm not talking about what I hear or what I think. It's what I've seen with my own two eyes. And people that I've seen as and know and live with every day. But if you go to Egurulen or the southwestern townships or Alexandra and areas, they also tell you people here are pros promiscuous. It's a, it's, it's a national crisis. If you, if you, if it I is a national it. crisis. I can't, I can't point a finger to you because you live there, you, you're promiscuous. I can't point a finger there, you know? Hmm. Fact is, where there's a city, there's promiscuity. Hmm. Where there's a township, there's promiscuity. Promiscuity is there. Then somebody says, who are you to judge? You have your own mistakes, God damn it, and that just happened to be one of my mistakes. Exactly. I need the and second the, chance. And the thing is, even some people, they don't think. Mm -hmm. Even if they do get that second chance, they don't take it into consideration that God has given me a second chance. So let me just take this chance and live my life in a better way. They, they don't do that. We've seen things like human trafficking, just people taking you and put you in some wild, some wild country there and then you don't know what you're doing there and then they start raping you and all these things. Mm. You understand? Obviously, for a person who's got money, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make a cure that gives it, then say, it's gonna be expensive. I mean, if I'm Bill Gates, I'd say, no, nah, I, I have money and I don't know what to do with it. So it's better go rape someone, go buy, um, I'm at, like, cure Leo, need that, then it's better, it's better than just keeping my money in the bank. Yeah. And let's get, again, let's think of saying that, He's being dumb again. I'm not saying Bill Gates is dumb, but I'm just saying, well, by thinking like that, people out there do need do need um, resources and stuff. Mm. We've seen people in Kenya and other places that live in, a, in poor conditions. People who need money. But yeah. then we have people like Bill Gates and them sitting on top of the world, having all the money, you understand? So we still do have these people, again, who live in those poor conditions, but then they do have HIV. You never hear what they're saying, oh, Jay-Z's got HIV, Paris Hilton, or whoever like that. Mm. Those are the people with money. Mm. But we might never and know. Maybe, maybe people who take care of themselves at the well, same time. Out. But again, but again, maybe people will take care of, of themselves, but then maybe, again, people who have discovered the, 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 the cure, but never want to take it out. Okay, that, that, you know, I want to leave us with him, Sam Lugun and Tenja. But Tina, since those people are world icons, shouldn't we take example from Bon? Since we're not in Zaganja, we're not in the world. Tina, see it all. Yeah, Bon. So since Pat and Jenga, instead of praying for a cure and, 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 and end up dying, we're not going to die. Yeah, what? It's not always rich people, rich people who get HIV. It's mostly poor people. So, it, 
and the reasons for that is because like in the rural areas it's where they walk in bushes and women there are expected to go fetch things like water and wood and then the men are supposed to to work so women do go to bushes because they're supposed to go there and they obviously get raped there mm. so they shouldn't make the queue expensive yeah now Kona, it wouldn't help saying that uh, if you've got a criminal record of uh, that you have you've raped someone you're not gonna get the queue it wouldn't help because actually at in hospital actually he got infected in the hospital but injected me while he was not watching because yeah. there's a story in Mpopo that says that there's a doctor that came and injected kids with the same needle yes so people could get HIV from that because when I buy a figure and they don't know who used that needle before so they buy again and get injected although they still have a criminal record of raping someone you see man Nakona, even if he had to the cure of AIDS, ne? people will find a way of getting that cure. Like, for example, prostitution. People will get into the prostitution industry just to get money to get the cure. So that won't be a good thing. Yeah. So then they, if they steal it... And there will be more prostitutes, maybe, if you have a cure. Yeah, you see. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Any girl can be a prostitute. prostitute. Abbas Asabi, Abbas Asabi, uh, cure, cure. Cure. Can't cash, yeah. my friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, even after they have said, Nkurunkulu does a lot for us, but then we don't appreciate that. Instead, we just... I don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. I care for you and they don't want it. What is a parent to do? Complain about how much it is. What is a parent to do? I mean, the world is uncontrollable right now. Like, it's just everything is just in heaven. The world is uncontrollable. The phone call you like you use over call. That's all. That's all. It should be free one way. Yeah. You cannot way. argue about that. Why would you think there's a little TV call? Hmm? Why would you think there's a little TV call? Say you have a thought. Who's on control? 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 Who's the also the Bible says you must respect your parents. Yeah. And they say if a child goes the wrong way mm. and your parents don't stop the child. Yeah. It'll, um, the but child kids are disrespectful ashamed. today. The child will become ashamed to the family. But disrespectful na na manje. So ba hamba ba tole le ngo la zumta lumta na fourteen years when he eggs. Warumiiti unomto an. Easily she could have gotten eggs. Ah, don't go to that phone. Mama go to system bele go ye. Responsible for yourself so that Ubas Utinanga Sasa, Ukumeleg, Gelanga Lupti, and Makta Jesus, so Abaga Tibetans or them Sabin. Yeah, Maraguti Ukunuku finally would be ashes, he said. Maria was good, you would know whether he know. We have the only Mavishin, which I have an end of them. Yeah, what among us would Moshi Lava? Yeah, which it was the way to Utah Manja, Manjasen Moshi, the water, Langas, Wooding Yamosha Manja, what your man is a good good finally with Anjazis, and get a good thing in Singapore, Gam and Tamil. I want to go to the house. I want to go to the house. I want to God made us with the same love and gave us commandments as well. Yeah. Why don't we respect his commandments? Adultery. Yeah. Children make mistakes. Yeah. Children make mistakes and learn from their mistakes. The question I want to ask that points out to him is that you're saying that um, like the cue should be given to people that are rape victims or children that were born with HIV. <laughs> How would it be possible to tell Uguti this person is a rape victim and this child was born with HIV? Because the major lie and say I'm a rape victim. How? Because they a light downtown. Like, <laughs> oh, and you're like, I want a cure for HIV. Why? Because I was, I was raped by who? By my uncle. Okay, how do we know that? Because you're just telling me Uguti, you were raped by your uncle. Because you're a girl. I, 
I, I wouldn't fight with you, Ngaloko. Yeah. I just say, okay, sure, you were raped, Bamba. Yeah. But if a guy comes in and he says, I was, a, I was raped or injected with the needle that somebody got injected with, they wouldn't believe him because he's a guy. They'd obviously think he's a rapist. We because I want to with both of them in the chair. They are both HIV positive. But decide to with us rape so that we can both get a cure. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I'm rape so I can get a cure yeah, and so or something like yeah, that. Yeah, most people are dumb. So you you'll have people trying to bypass that whole no, thing all people, the time. Some people would have sex and then get to a hospital and say I rape you. Exactly. So it doesn't really help. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really help saying yeah. Uguti. They, it should be given to people born with HIV and who are rape victims. Yeah. It doesn't okay. really help. And on top of it, there's this mentality that you can't eat a banana with its skin on. What rubbish is that? And as well, Because if, I know banana skin is quite healthy. If we used to say that abstain until married age, now they're saying you cannot buy a pig from a set. You know what I'm saying? There's all this. There's a know, new thing. We're changing the laws. We're changing the laws, you know, to satisfy our own selves. And when we run into trouble, oh God, oh leaders, oh whoever. When you look at apartheid years, when you impregnated a girl, you had to marry her. Yeah. You had no choice. Did they have a lot of AIDS back then? They didn't have a lot of AIDS back then. Now we have it like it's like this full force story. Yeah. Because nowadays we've got a lot of loose babies, loose babies. Okay, I impregnated you, I move on to the next, and then the next, and then the next. Back then it was, you had to marry me, you impregnated me, you had to marry me. Like you do not, yeah. And there were fewer love children than what they are now. Mm. So what do we say in this scenario? Oh, there's people who are suffering. There's kids that are going to be born without mothers or grow up without mothers of, and fathers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, that obviously brings other problems like crime, etc., etc. Illiteracy, among, among, among other things. And so they get exploited along the way by the powerful and, and so on. So that, that is going to create problems in its own. And if also, like we're looking at it right now, if we give the cure to everybody, we will have a situation where the moral fiber is completely decimated. So what do we do if we have the cure, me and you, right now? If I the mother and father of the universe, we say, <laughs> we have it in our hands. What do we do with it? We I need would, it for it. I would, in my, in my situation, if my baby sister was raped, I would do it like this. Those, the same with children grants. Hmm. As you get paid every month to help you support your child. It's not a lot, but that little bit counts, you know? Yeah. I would gladly roll out every month for that period that they need or for that period that it needs to be used okay. so that the child is cured. Yeah. I will gladly do that. But now you have the government that says children can have sex from the age of 12 upwards. They're exploiting, young girls are exploiting that statement. Yeah. And the same will go. The same as HIV people get a grant every month. Instead of getting that grant every month, you get a cure. It is just fair. They're costing the government thousands of rands every month. If you look how many HIV uh, victims we have. Yeah. It's thousands of rands every month. It's going, to, it's going to cost the economy somewhat. Exactly. It's going to cost the taxpayers So somewhat. in order for you to, if, if everyone's going to be treated fairly, forfeit your grant that you get every month for AIDS. Even if you did go and look for it on purpose, forward that grant. That money falls back to the government, they give you the cure. Yeah. It's a win, a give and take situation. Because if the government is just gonna give them the cure and give them that monthly money, who's losing? The taxpayer. Exactly. The taxpayer is losing. So you might as well forfeit that money every month, give it back to the to the economy, yeah. and then you have your cure. You're cured, do something productive with your life. But if you're not going to do something productive with your life and you are sick for the second time, obviously then the government has to put down their foot and say, look, first time, mistake. Second time, purpose. Third time, now you're really doing what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. 
but the queue is still there. And the human rights activists, like they will do in the current times, if there's a little squabble, they will come and say, give it to everybody. It doesn't matter how many times they get it. This person is important. Don't you see this person is going to be a future leader? Third time, yes, but don't. We have prisoners that have more rights than the, the men outside, than the police themselves that are supposed to totally, put them in there. Totally, totally. You know it's saying? the same as in prison. Hmm. They get educated. They have television. Free education. Free that education. I can get outside here. People in the is, rural areas don't even <laughs> have it. The citizen, yeah. They don't even have it, yet the prisoners have it. Hmm. Do you think when they come out of prison, they use that skill that they learned? They don't use that skill. They don't some use do. those brains. To be fair, some do. Some do, but yeah. a very small percentage. Yeah. Because majority of them just end up back. In so even that, that person prison. that is getting it for the third time, those millions that are getting it for the second time, they may probably a percentage of them. We may not know how, how, much, how big the percentage, they may be useful to the society. Let may, them just die. May be, may hmm. be, but are you going to let your economy suffer just because of a handful of people? Someone may also say right now that maybe we don't deserve it at all. Maybe these people are just going to keep doing it and doing it because they the first time they did it, this thing, nine out of nine out of ten of them get it through unprotected sex and they all know about condoms. How many of them don't know about condoms? Yeah. 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 Maybe the government should do what Botswana did. Because Botswana said, look, the HIV rate is rising, we're stopping all condoms. One condom per person a year. We're stopping all condoms. And they stopped condoms. Yeah. With that, promiscuity came down. Yeah. And they started rolling out condoms again. Which in return taught the nation, look, we're not going to do this, the government is not going to do this for us. Mm. So you can't just take, 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 you can't be, and you're not giving. And, and we do it's these things. It's a give and take situation. We do these things and always look to the government. We do stupid things and always look to the government. Oh, the government. It's not the government. What's the solution from the government, you know? It's you as an individual. Yeah. If you can't, you don't have self, you know, it, and it comes down to morals. If I don't respect my partner, I'm going to go and sleep outside. Yeah. If I don't respect myself as a female, I'm going to go and sleep outside. It's me as a person, it's you as a person. Everybody is responsible for their own actions. Yes. But at the same time, it's not just that person's problem, it's everybody's problem. You can cure your AIDS. Yeah, you do with somebody who's 12, who's a virgin. Ignorance. So, so, so to avoid such situations, like I want to know my eight, eight months was a rape, you maybe we deserve a cure. No, but the guys who believe that are sick in the head. So, no, I, I don't know how to say it. Who shower when you think? No. Uh, they, you just abstain from, from sex. Yeah, it's simple. Abstain, totally. Abstain, abstain. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, 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 most, but we know that we have a problem, Lap. Yeah. It's good to abstain. When these kids have, have drank whatever they've drank, but they lose themselves and end up sleeping together. So maybe to cap all that, let's bring a cure and okay. But at least be. You see the kids who drink something, they're not supposed to be there at those times. They're at the wrong places at the wrong time. That's why they get there. Yeah. That's why they're there. That's why they're there. There's, there. there's a responsibility. You obviously want to get there. Isn't going to be trouble there? So they deserve the punishment yeah. that's coming their way. Yeah, with forensics, I believe science is very good. So good that it will determine whether the person has been raped. 72 hours before or what? Obviously, if you were raped 72 hours before, you wouldn't just sit and say, 
Wednesday or Saturday so that it can go Upuma, to the hospital. Upuma from a continent and a country that has the highest rate of illiteracy once again. You know, people but, don't understand all those things. So good here, 72 hours. You see, that, that's, where, that's, yeah. where, that's where again we lose it. You yeah. understand? Mm. We're not getting AIDS again, not cause, because we, we, we don't use condoms yeah. and we, we, we're using um, the same injections just to inject one another. Yeah. The other thing is that education. 